Hello guys, go on to 345678900 here, and I have just completed work on my uh, multiplier, which I'm going to be using in my CPU. Now, um, in order to make this multiplier, I simply um, loop the output of my uh, adder into its input with some deflops and uh, just some shifters. Now, it's on a six tick clock, so it's pretty fast. And uh, yeah, I think I'll demonstrate that for you now. Um, resetting uh, is a bit difficult because uh, in order to avoid adding a tick or using pistons, um, I didn't want to use a comparator to make this uh, signal zero here. So in order to reset the register, what you have to do is you have to flood everything uh, and that's done simply like this, and then you save it to the data loop register. And then you simply uh, disable the flood, and you power the carry in. And then there you go, it's disabled. Now you just have to save one more time. So it's a bit of a lengthy process, but you know, if you have uh, timing set up specifically to do that, it's not going to be more than a few ticks, and I'm going to have timing set up to do that, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's input some data. Um, I've already input, well, turned on some levers. Uh, we're going to multiply 1111 by 1111, uh, so that's going to be 15 times 15, which should be 225, and that's going to be 1110000001, there are four zeros. Anyway, um, the reason I picked that number is because it's the largest number that this multiplier will multiply before it overflows. And the reason I did not make this multiplier have a 16-bit output, even though it has two 8-bit inputs, is because my CPU only has 8-bit uh, uh, memory. So, a, yeah, 8-bit registers. And so, uh, in order to really just save time, uh, I'm not going to bother splitting up a number into two parts, also because of my limited memory. Also, I don't think that it's ever really going to be useful to have numbers uh, significantly larger than uh, 255. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'll see how it turns out. If I do end up needing more uh, digits, I can always add them. It'll still be the same speed. You'll just have one more tick delay on the remaining eight bits. Anyway, let's begin. So what you do first is you enable the data to flow through onto the register on both inputs, and then simply you clock it, and that should save it. As you can see, saved. Uh, save this one. Where's the clock? Uh, clock's over here. So, boom. And uh, yeah, then you disable this so that it's not constantly writing data. And yeah, there we go. Let's begin. But first, actually, I'm going to build a little line so that we can uh, start it from in front of the oh, in front of the uh, multiplier. Oh, I should turn off the carry in. Okay, and yeah. Let's put a repeater here. I'm not sure if that's 15 blocks, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and just put another here. That's definitely not 15 blocks, but who cares? Okay, and what you're going to watch is the lights. Um, so the least significant bit is the bottom bit. That's also the one, if you're looking at this perspective, furthest on the right. And so yeah, let's begin. And, and it's done. That's it. So in order to perform 4-bit multiplication, this adder takes, uh, let's see, 24 ticks. So if I was multiplying, say, 1111111 by 1111111, which is uh, two full 8-bit numbers, uh, it would take 48 ticks. And 
Given that my CPU branches in 26 ticks, that's incredibly fast. So it'll only take two clock cycles where I would branch in order to uh, multiply two very large numbers. And uh, given that if you were multiplying inside a CPU like this one, you'd have to branch multiple times, definitely more than two. Uh, it's incredibly efficient to have an external multiplier or hardware multiplier. So I'm just going to uh, hopefully turn off the clock. Oh, turn that off. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. Um, and I'm going to be working on the divider for the CPU next. And uh, I'll make a video on the CPU once I've attached the multiplier and divider. And uh, it has been suggested to me that I also make a square root extractor, but we'll see. Uh, may or may not take up a lot of room to have uh, three different pieces of hardware, but I might be able to incorporate the square root extractor into the divider. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see ya.